Adrian. Yo. Where's that? A four and a half million dollar wire. We got a Fed reference number so we could trace it. Avi had this amazing idea for me to give Nick a makeover. Your sales suck this month. Me? Yes. Everybody loves talking about the grind. Everybody loves talking about what it takes to make it in a business. This is not a story of someone trying to make it. We already made it. We're a $100 million company a year. We've already built a brand and a status within the industry, but that doesn't mean that we're done. Not only am I going to show you some of the behind the scenes, I'm also going to show you what it takes to run a $100 million company a year and take it to a $300 million company a year. It's really hard to keep a $100 million beast afloat, and it's even harder to take it to the next level. So stay tuned, and welcome to Gray Market. Is that the freaking musket? Is that the freaking musket? No, it's not a musket. My favorite part of the day, favorite part of the week, all day, every day, is the watch porn, the unboxings. All right, so today is gonna be a special type of unboxing. Before we get here, I complained to Mark. Remember the guy that sent us the t-shirts? So he sent me more. If anybody steals his Ooh. sweatshirts, I'm gonna kill him. Wait, I need one of them. Got, no, yeah. this is my sweatshirt, no, all right? Let me get the popcorn. You'll send you know what, one. you get the masks. In the mist, that's all I can All right. Well, Mark, uh, send, send another one my way, please. You know this was a limited edition, right? Like, there's no more of them. Nobody touches these sweatshirts, all right? These are mine and only mine. But what happens if we do? You get shot, and I have plenty of guns to do it with. I got one, and I did not get shot. Mark, thank you so much again. Love that. Now on to some watches. Oh, nice AP. Thank you. I think you should keep it for yourself. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, when was the last time you saw one of these guys? Adrian. Uh, huh? When was the last time you saw one of... No, we had the bigger one last week. Yeah, we this had is, 37. Yeah, good luck finding the 33. It's like impossible to get these. 67650 SR reference? Oh. Is that what that is? Yes, it is. Very no, good. No, you... Honestly, like, who cares? What else we got? Oh, it's another ladies royal look, except reference number, Adrian? That would be a 67650ST. 67650ST. And I dropped my sword. Oh. <laughs> why are you there, why are you going samurai on us right now when this unboxing? You, you, know, know. you know I like what? <laughs> I got things to do. Yeah, me too, actually. <laughs> Ooh. Is, Is that that new new? I love this one. That's the new new. It's not the new. New new. It's sort of new, but not the new new. That is the new new. That is not the new new. What's the reference on this? 26480 TI. It's the old one. That's the 42. Hold on. Oh, that's, not, oh, that's right. That's not the one that's interchangeable. But it does, but the come, same, the it same, does come with the white strap. But, but it's the same chronograph location. Move on to the next <laughs> Same sub dial. 26331. There you go. ST. What's the rest of it? Dot uh, oh, oh, dot. Yeah, just stop. Just stop. <laughs> Adrian, do you, dot one two two o s t dot zero one. What's up? Dot. Dot. No more dots. Luxury no, there is. Dot luxury.com. Dot good one. Good one. Dot out. Three. What else you got for me, Anna? Party. This this looks like your purchase. Mm, it's probably yours. I did buy some cart. That's definitely yours. Yeah, that's it. That's like old school. Old school. These are actually becoming pretty collectible, by the way. This is one of the older, older ones. It's original boxing paper, which is good. And an envelope that says, to Roman. I must have bought that. Roman squared. Adrian, thoughts on the Daniel Roth? That is a phenomenal piece of high horology. <laughs> <laughs> hey, salmon-ish. 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 You heard it here first. Salmon-ish dial. Salmon-ish. That's a, that, 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 it's a dreamer. That, that, that's How about a black Rolex box? What's that, up? That's hoodie yeah, content that, right there. You see what's in there? Hold on. Hold on. You know, you say sleeper, this is a dreamer. I'm sorry, what did you say? <laughs> a dreamer. So it's not a sleeper, it's a dreamer? Yeah, yeah. I know Ahmed is watching this, and be I bet you my WhatsApp is going to go up in about five minutes. Shout out to Ahmed from Dubai. He's going to call me. He's going to say, Roman, how much for this beautiful day? What is that? That Actually. is beautiful. That is a beautiful, that is a beautiful watch right there. Where is the rest of it? This is what we call a price point Rolex. Box paper is complete. I have the strap separately. Price point is relative, Roman. I guess you're right. What else you got? Oh, look. It's a regular Rolex. Survey says? Hmm? Who put that? You did. I did? Yes. Okay. And we have uh, a... A two-door. Two, two 
Two doors. Two two doors. That would be four doors. Oh, one's a one's a special. Hold on. This is a regular one. Oh. Mm -hmm. Give me the reference number, quick, Alex. I, uh... <laughs> really, really? Did you just grab the card? Do you know any any tutor? Um, That's actually pretty hot. This is called this is called this is called a dark night. It's supposed to have the band with it. Seven, it does. It does. That's the band. It's all, all, all ceramic. That was the serial number. I think. I, I think that you just that was the serial it's, number. It's, Kong. it's actually pretty dope. All right, let's see. Let's see the one with the Oman logo. Please. Wait. Where's the top of the Where's jewelry? Roll? Shout out to the Oman logos out here. <laughs> Turn that sideways. And stay away from me. It's like a banana. Huh? Every 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 other Thursday. What, 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 what do you what do you call what do you call every this? other Thursday? What do you call this type of night? Uh, a conjure. That's the conjure. Oh, this is actually this a is an actual conjure. Yes. And, and every and every Did other. Like you knew that, did he? Have and every other I mean, and every other Thursday. The picture of it right here. That doesn't mean that doesn't mean anything. Oh, Every other Thursday, free this, circus decisions via this is, this is Adrian. He can use katana. That's not a katana. That's just a whatever. You got some fake ass. Here. Anywho, another two door. Okay, but hold on. Does this one have the logo in the back? Uh, no, it does not. It's just oh, a conjure box. Uh oh. But that's a nice looking two door. Is that an actual conjure? Uh, it is an actual conjure. A low key conjure. There was some jewelry that they, they took, but there's some that's left. I don't know what's in here, but we'll find out in a second. Ooh, that's what I was doing. We have Cartier. Oh, look, it's the nail collection. Justin Clue. We have the earrings. Justin Who? Not Justin Bieber, Justin Clue. <laughs> we have the little pendant, we have the bracelet, and we have the matching ring. Look at that. And then, will you be my butterfly? Oh, it matches my shirt. Oh, wow. What is that? It's a butterfly. We should find we should we should we should find something that's a grasshopper. What? Give it to Akin. Yeah, someone in the chest. Yo, throw it. Yo, that's nice. I mean, okay. Someone in the chest said what? Someone in the chest said you guys have cut yourselves enough to, without waving a sword about. <laughs> that's funny. Whoever whoever said that that's funny. Who's gonna write this up? You? You? I'll write the you. mask up and the bag. I'll write one. Write nobody this. touch. Nobody down. touches the mark. Hoodies, okay? Nobody touches those hoodies. Mark, when are the new hoodies dropping? Oh yeah, good question. We'll find out, and we'll we'll find out shortly. We decided to go to the show last minute. <laughs> Natalie's really happy about it. I know. I'm gonna pull stuff out right now. Give it to Natalie to scan out. So after a long deliberation with Adrian, whether or not we should do the July show in Miami, it just so happened that it coincided with us possibly having to deliver a four and a half million dollar watch. So we decided to pack up the stuff last minute and uh, head out to Miami once again. All right, so this is good to go. This is good to go. Yo, Natalie's like a hawk in here. Like, don't touch my sh She's like a magician. No, we have a no, magician. No, no, I know, but she's better. By the way, who let the magician in the I'm safe? Who, who, who let she, the magician in the I safe? We're about, in, we're about to have like 15 Rolexes missing. By the way, this came in yesterday from where? Oh, this is, this is from the middle, the packages from the Middle East. We need to open these up because I want to take the stuff with us. So get Eli to open them real quick. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, you know what she just said? I have to translate this. Like, yo, you're so tiny. <laughs> look at look at look at the difference. She's like my mommy. Alex, you down here? Yo. Hey. Did you sell the paddock 5160s? Uh, Alright, so I'm putting I'm putting that in your bin. There's also a couple of pieces in your bin uh, that I don't know, do I take them with me or are they sold? Are you working on them? Um I can come downstairs. Alright, come downstairs when you're done. I don't think he was finished talking. Can I fit the safe? Or? Uh, it Can depends. How, how much? How much? Can I buy the wrong complexion? How, how much breakfast did you have this morning? Uh, <laughs> actually, I had a good breakfast. I love breakfast. <laughs> Technical foul. Too many men on the field. 15-yard penalty. First down. Where's my coffee? Of course. Thank you, Eli, the forever coffee keeper. So one of my clients actually hit me up. Uh, he wanted to do a consignment on uh, AP Ghost, and I had the perfect person that I wanted to offer it to, my boy Jeff. He actually bought a Zenith like a month before that, and um, I don't know why, I just thought it was cool. I thought he would definitely like it, so I sent a picture to him, and uh, the rest is history. Oh, this is a liar, dude. It looks sick. Dude, I'm, I'm surprised you like, hit me <laughs> up with it, because I wasn't even in the market unless you saw on the...
No, I, think I, I was trying I to just, train up. You know what? I saw it, and then uh, I think you posted today or something. Yeah. And I was like, let me just show it to Jeff. Yeah. I, I figured I had to. So after I showed Jeff the video, he explained to me that the only way this deal would work is if he traded in two of his Rolexes. Uh, this would probably be the most expensive watch that Jeff had bought. Uh, so I, I worked out some good numbers for him on the Rolexes, and we actually were able to make it happen as a straight trade. Can I see them one last time? Of course. Uh, I mean, look, two different watches, two different styles, two things I could just wear all the time. Two Sasha. Rolexes, really dope watches, but it's like one it's grail versus like two level. cool people. <laughs> right, and it, this is just a next level process so I can't not I know it's sick it's can't just give absolutely you this sick <laughs> shout out to you Jeff really happy for you do you have two Batmans on? yes no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Ian what time are you going to set up for the live watches and whiskey? like 1 o'clock 1 30 like 1 o'clock 1 30 why are you being like so loud? <laughs> take, a, take your headphones off what? <laughs> I got I got the uh, Ricky coming in He's gonna come in probably right before we start. So uh, we're gonna be cutting it short. He flew out this morning. He's supposed to land at 12.30, figure out what, it's gonna, not gonna get here until at least one o'clock, 1.15. Okay. All right. Yeah, what's up? There's this guy who does not know which watch this is. He said there were two made for Saudi princes. This actually may very well be original. Uh, I bought, and, papers and, I bought and what does he wanna do? He wants to sell it? He just wants to know information so he can think about something. This is something our boy Mohammed will know. Do you have his number? I do not. I think Alex does, or at least Anna does. So ask him. I mean, that's a Rolex. It's an old school Rolex Cellini. I know what it is. Mm. Uh, I'm assuming this is actually original, believe it or not. He'll probably ask you on the value, but Mohammed really knows a lot about these, and you can ask Adam about it. I know what it is, but like, I'm not sure on the value because we don't. When was the last time you saw one of these in this office? You know what I mean? Of course. Eli. Uh, what time is uh, Malka coming to pick up for the show? From 10 to 1. From 10 to 1. I want to go down there and see if there are any last minute things that I need to pull because otherwise I'm going to have to ship from Florida. All right? What? Can you do it now? I'm going to do it now. I'm going to ask Anna. Anna, banana. Is there anything you need to pull from Malka? You already did? It wasn't a bad yeah, bag. So, um, so for which one? For the AP or? Um... As much as I like, <laughs> love. Big watches, sometimes. I think I'll wear this to Florida. I'll be back. Um, Alex, Akib, Nick. Malka is on their way to pick up. So if there's anything there that you need to pull today, you won't have access until Tuesday. It happens every time we pack for the show. The minute I get everything together, put away into bins, extra watches come in, salespeople have stuff on their desks. I can never get it all in one pile to make sure that it goes out. I don't like traveling with merchandise, so to the last seconds I'm out there gathering stuff. You pulled all that out? No, yes. I, I only pulled... Is this... Oh. Stale. <laughs> Chipotle. Every day we get Chipotle, or at least I do. And uh, I leave my bag of Chipotle chips like on the front of my desk so Roman can come up and snack. <laughs> yeah, I think it's safe, buddy, bro. <laughs> I've, had a, I've had a Chipotle bag on my desk for the past like three weeks. I said uh, he saw Tanya snacking at one point. <laughs> These are like my Roman treats. So, all the stuff that you just pulled? Yes, sir. Is this sold? This was already here. This was stuff that was being left behind. So, we're not taking this to the show? No, we're using the safe already. Why not? I, I walked in the safe today and this is what was there. So my question to you, are you working on selling these or do I take these to the show? No, 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 I'm working on selling these. This one. Because you got about 150 grand here. And what's up with the paddock? It's sold. Okay. Your sales suck this month. Me? Yes. What do you got? Show me. Pop up the spreadsheet. It's weak. I know it's weak. I want to see it. So you're at 300,000? Okay, I know what the profit is. Uh, my question to you is, well, oh, not question, rather a statement. July is probably the deadest month. The reason we do our fiscal year starting in February, yeah. right, is so that July and August float into September, which is a high month, right? Mm -hmm. And that we also get December, January, and February into a quarter because 
January is a dead month. You know this. So don't get discouraged by this month. Your, your July is never going to be great. Uh, for sure. All right. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm pushing. All right. Yeah, so we have, reach. that's that's also the reason why we have a spike in inventory. We finally, we actually decided to do the IWJG show last minute because I saw a $2 million spike in inventory in the last 30 days. So I want to load off, I want to probably offload about a million. Well, that was a good idea. Um, Nick, I hear you got a spreadsheet. It's a total sale. So you are at... 73,000 in sales, but this is strictly fruits of the Facebook group, I would imagine, right? Uh, so it's fruits of Facebook, some colons, and then a lot of uh, people hitting up my actual Instagram account. Nick is off to a great start. Uh, one of the things that I value in any person that starts to take on sales is the motivation to learn and do whatever it takes to make the sales happen, all while following good sales and business practices. Nick has literally been shadowing Anna 24 7 and guess what he's learned a lot by doing that well, i think we may have a competition looming once it goes full blast because alex is sort of under adrian's wing and nick is sort of under anna's wing mm, i'm not sure who will win so you don't need any watches pulled because i'm going to go downstairs and i'm going to tell him to lock it up finally uh, i mean this is the only one i'm working on deal okay so leave it if you're working on something then leave it is that for me sir this is for marcus can i trust to give it to you? i actually have my son out there hustling stuff to my employees and I'm sitting there doing collections for him apparently now. What'd you buy? No, I bought slides for the, the Gruzny's wife. Okay, so so this your son-in-law gave me this and this is from Just make me. Make sure it goes to him. Well that's why I have it separately. Okay. So this is Marcus. I'm gonna have keep it separate. Yeah, any baggies or something? No God please no Yeah You can't do this. It's not on the table. It's on, it's no on the table. no no All right, I'll get a hooky. Russian superstitions. I heard it from my grandparents, my parents, and it still goes on today. That's what happens when you have an old partner. Look, there's a bunch of Russian superstition things that you can just cannot do. You cannot put keys on a table. Yeah, get one of those. It's there you go. You cannot put keys on a table. See, it's technically, see, you cannot do it like that either. It's technically on so the it's, table. It's you know, you know, you know what's going to happen, right? Like the plague will come and hellfire will come down and you can't have keys on a table. Oh, just, no, yeah, you just can't. <laughs> oh, uh, before I forget, that Daytona did not go through because he wanted retail. He wanted what we would ask retail for. The 6363. How much did you want for it? He wanted like 120. Well, first of all, you can't, I, I want to sell that retail right. for 120. I said that to him too. Was like the fact that the papers are written in really, you know, if you had. In cases like this, and this is what I've told Alex numerous times, bring me in. Right. I'll talk to him. I'll explain. And it will give you an opportunity to listen to what I'm saying and sort of learn because even though it's a situation where it doesn't look like we'll make a deal happen, for say, in the very least, even if a deal does not happen, I love to leave conversations making a customer feel informed, warm and fuzzy inside, so that the next time around there's an opportunity to do a deal, the customer remembers that. that. It's not just, okay, well, this is not for us, it's not going to work, it's too high. That's not how you leave off a conversation. You leave off a conversation, as you said, explaining. Right, the, the fact that the papers are written in really doesn't mean a whole lot because those papers are out and about and you can do it. Right. It's really the punch papers where the value is when it comes to these vintage things. The fact that it had marks on his sub dials. He should know all these things because what's going to happen is not he's not going to stop with us. He's going to call another dealer, another right. dealer. And, and those that know what they're looking at are going to tell him the same thing. You know, for him, I don't think you could have gotten $120,000 out of that watch. Right. So I would, have, I would have closed that conversation off by informing him as to why and saying if there's anything else in the future that we can help you with, we're here. And that's really the best way to do it. Not every phone call is gonna end in a deal, not every email or WhatsApp or whatever ends in a deal, but every single phone call, WhatsApp, and a deal has to end in a way where the client is satisfied or at least 100% informed. That's, how, that's what I look for. Adrian, we got a wire for 100,000. We got a wire for 75,000. We got, and? The phone's left the brokerage account and 11 o'clock they were released off. And the second wire for the necklace would be the wall. So we're getting what, 4.3 million for now? No, 4.35. 4.35 and then another 200, what, tomorrow? Yeah. Okay, we got to, hold on, we got to talk to, because we're going to cut it short. We want to meet him in Florida. We have an open ticket, but as is, if... The watch is coming to Marco in Miami. I understand, but what I'm asking you is, if it, so today is, it's Thursday here, by the time it ships out of our Hong Kong office, it's Friday. Yes. So that means it has to leave Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It may make it while we're still there. And if not, we're going to have to stay an extra day. Well, that's why I'm not getting it sent to the Miami show, just in case they miss it. What I'm going to have, let's go downstairs talk to Natalie real quick.
Natalie. So here's the situation. Pending a wire received in the next two hours, we're gonna have to set up Malka to, oh, this is back. Ladies and gentlemen, another prime example of Roman's ADD. Oh. This needs to go with us, no? Um, does, does this have papers, do you remember? Oh, uh, yes it does. It does, okay. Yeah, she's, it's, it's those three boxes that will have, and, and what is this? This is back too. So this is ours, no? It's ours. It Look at, a, yeah, but the strap is I think we have a Montoya strap. I know we do, but so I need to change it. Yeah. So this needs to come with us. Yeah. So take this, take that. This needs, to, this needs a stock number. You should have a stock number. Um, oh, we need a strap for this guy. Anyway. I think I have that also. N not important. Pending a wire we're going to receive in two hours. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to bring in a four and a half million dollar watch from our office in Hong Kong to the window of Malka in Florida. Mm -hmm. With the option, mm -hmm. follow me here, with the option of me calling somebody and saying, hey, bring it to the trade show. Mm -hmm. We don't know if it's gonna land, because look, if it ships Friday out of our Hong Kong office with customs and everything else, we don't know if it can, Plane if flights. we have yeah. Monday, Tuesday at the show. So we don't know if it'll physically make it till Tuesday. We bought open-ended tickets. So if let's say if it gets there Wednesday, we'll just wait a day. Mm -hmm. By the way, I booked the hotel through Wednesday morning. Regardless. Wednesday morning? Yeah, regardless. Okay. Because we figured worst case scenario, if we're waiting for this, we'll just spend a day shopping. So as soon as, Give her the watch information. Yeah, I'm gonna give her the full uh, she, he'll, he'll, give, he'll give you a full breakdown. It'll come from our Hong Kong office. Mm -hmm. It's gonna have to go to Malka Mitt, Florida for pickup in Brickell. So HK to Malka Mitt window? Mm -hmm. And it has to, it's gonna sit there. Okay. We may meet the client there. Okay. Or if it lands there Monday or Tuesday, it won't land there Monday for sure. But let's say- it, It's always possible. Yeah, it's still possible. It's but still if, possible. If, if it lands there Monday or Tuesday, then you'll call somebody there and say, hey guys, bring it to the show to the boys. Can they okay. do that? Yeah. Like they, can, they, they can reroute under our account. It's not about rerouting. It's about an additional shipment. Take that package. An additional so when, do, when do, you do, set do. it up, the only thing you have to tell them is that I want to have the option, if the package lands Monday or Tuesday, I want to have the option to calling you and telling you to take that package now and bring it to IWJJ. Okay. That's all I want. Okay, but if... Uh, okay. Say Okay. You don't have to tell her twice. She knows. Yeah, right. Good. Yo, Roman. Yeah. We hit a little snafu. What? Did you quote a guy for the Daniel Roth at 7-5? No. I don't know who shouted out, but the guy messaged me on my, at Nick of Time, asking if we can do 7. Uh, okay, so I see... Did Akib? Akib. Who told Akib to quote 7500? Let's find out. Hello? Akib. Yes. Who told you to quote 7500 on a Daniel Roth? Um... I believe it was either Adrian or uh, An probably Anna, right? Yes. All right. Hold on. Thank you. It's. I know what the cost was because it was a package between the two. Right. But I just quoted him eight, and he freaked out on me because I didn't know that the the seventy five, and I talked to Anna about it. And she okay. Was well, like, tell him that obviously got crisscrossed. Right. We will honor the original quote of seventy five hundred. Shipping to Gibraltar is expensive as all hell, so we're gonna have to stick to our guns at seventy five hundred. Right. I think that's a ten thousand dollar watch, and we're leaving money on the table. But oh, it doesn't 100%. matter if if we if it was quoted, it was quoted. Right. That's it. Okay. Who is this assigned to? So it's assigned to Akib, but it, he messaged me on my Instagram as well. Okay. So, so what I'm saying is. It's, this is going to happen. Yeah. Right. And you just have to you just have to apologize and say, look, we have a multitude of avenues people yeah. can contact us. Sometimes things get lost in translation. That watch is actually not even supposed to have been quoted out at seventy five hundred. It was supposed to be quoted out at more. Long story short, we will honor the price at seventy five hundred. It's a full set box and papers. The only issue is is that my buddy Eric was supposed to come in and look at it today. Well, here's the thing: is he wants to pay seven. So if he's not going to budget seventy five. It's still he's going to budget 75 and we're going to have to sell it to him so and, and we have to, it, it, if we quoted it we honor it i don't care if we lose a thousand dollars it doesn't matter long story short client got the watch since you're here that. how what is your plan on handling your day-to-day -day in marketing and now getting into sales honestly it's not i thought it was going to be harder uh the sales thing obviously i'm still learning you know what the cue lingo and all that but it, it goes pretty hand in hand because I'm still doing all the social media. I have better now, uh, now a better pulse of what things are going for, what price it's going for. If someone calls in, yep. I get the part of it, it being easy transition. The issue is not that. 
a couple of meetings ago when we sat there, I showed you guys Ivy and Co's Instagram, right? Mm -hmm. Ivy took me back to um, the guy that handles strictly Instagram stories and Instagram posts, right? Mm -hmm. It's literally a dedicated individual with a professional photography setup like we have in our content department right. that his entire job is to take those kick-ass short videos, to take those kick-ass videos with the graphics and everything else. So let's shits and giggles go to Ivy & Co. Shout out to Ivy & Co. We have the goods that Ivy & Co has. We just don't display them. I mean, they go in and out really fast, but if I look at just his images, so all this, all the props and everything else that you see here, right? It's literally a guy sitting in a space this big, okay? We go to Luxury Bazaar Artificial, good photos, just the same, but I feel like it's still not consistent. With that said, what I'm more concerned about is that. Just this type of stuff. Well, we sold them that, by the way. Um, do you see what I mean? Like, yeah. the glove. Problem is, is that takes an entire individual to do full time. If you're going to get into sales, I'm going to get a whole nother Alex or Adrian Ant. Well, I won't get another Adrian Anna, but let's say I get another Alex where you can do your million dollar revenue a month. You won't have time to do this. This is going to suffer. So you need to go back to Avi and figure out a way to say, look, how do I transition without this suffering? I'm be happy for you to do sales and do what Alex does and make more money. I'll be ecstatic to see that. In terms of knowledge of the watches, you guys have been handling this so many times at this point that you can be a salesman person overnight. The problem is, is that I don't want to get into a habit of hiring more and more people because right now we have Occup handling custom service, service, handling platforms, handling things like that, right? He potentially wants to become a salesperson as well, which I don't know, time will show. For now, I'm not seeing anything. Right. I'm seeing him still learning the ropes. I'm still not in the position where I am 100% in love with our social media stuff, right. that I'm 100 and then that's just a small part of what you do. Our YouTube presence, our video content quality is insane you know and we still ended up hiring one more person because they couldn't keep up right. the other stuff should not suffer that's all i'm saying no. we'll sit down with maybe with ivy as well all right cool. Thanks, uh by the way are we said we should be setting up for watches and whiskey already watches and whiskey it's been a while we're very excited to bring it back we shot watches and whiskey later that day we had a special guest from texas come by the name of ricky Hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, man? So right. we're gonna get you in. They're doing a live stream right now. Okay. Uh, Roman and them. So we're gonna get you in there, mic you up, and uh, we'll get to it, all right? Sounds good, man. As far as our guests, we're gonna briefly bring some, somebody on all the way out from Texas. Please welcome to the show. Ricky Maduro. What's up, Papi? Oh. Ricky Maduro. Oh. All right, if you guys... Oh, oh, I gotta get him a glass. Yeah, I gotta get him a glass. Yeah. How long have you been in business, Ricky? You know it. Since I sent you an email about a little over a year ago, I sent you an email and asked you, hey man, I wanna get into the business, what to do? So, what better way to answer that question than from somebody that he's one of those guys. Well, I was gonna say, one of those annoying guys that kept bombarding and bombarding and bombarding <laughs> until I finally started here. That's all. <laughs> and it's been a little bit over a year. He actually just sold us a watch over 100. Is the watch still with you? Did you pull yeah, it? I have let's, a show, let's show it to the world. Roger to me. You guys, I, you guys see me show this on one of my shows. What do I watch on that a while ago? That's probably mm -hmm. about two to three years ago. So if you guys missed the live stream of Watch and Whiskey, please go back to Roman's channel and uh, check out the video there. Take a look at what we're giving away this week. custom-made pair of Air Force Ones designed by A22 Customs. In order to win this, you have to follow three Instagram channels, which are watchalex.lb, watchanna.lb, and nickoftime.lb. You also have to share this video and be subscribed to our channel. Once you've done all that, comment below and good luck. Avi had this amazing idea for me to give Nick a makeover. Adrian always says I'm like the fashionista of this company, so with Nick getting into sales, he could definitely uh, improve on his style a little bit maybe. So everyone in this office is kind of like a high feast, I guess you could say, except for Nick. Uh, Nick just wears a classic band t-shirt and some jeans. There's nothing wrong with it. I thought I'd give Nick a little makeover and make him into uh, maybe like a mini high feast. All right, 
Title it up. Nick's makeover. Okay, that looks like you're turning him into a penis. <laughs> it's a cucumber. Or a banana. <laughs> I don't care. Alright, so Physically. first obviously haircut. Yeah. I'll take him. Yeah. Wait, with a cut you're getting his his eyebrows um, and the face so wax thing, that whole black thing. Getting a facial and a shave. He needs a shave. No neck. There you go. No neck, Nick. He's Dentist. Alright, we're gonna take Dr. Eden. Tan. He needs a tan. He's see through. Uh, are we <laughs> He's see through? <laughs> are we doing spray tan? I'm, or so, I'm so glad. No, I'm so glad. Like, that's like a tanning booth because spray tan is just gonna go away. Gym tan laundry. Gym laundry. Tan? Gym it's tan? It's KTO. Gym tan laundry. There you go. Gym tan. What's laundry? Just. Uh, we're gonna do his laundry first. <laughs> <laughs> What's the question? <laughs> uh, laundry, we need to get a new, new drip. 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 Drip or fit or Take clothing. Take a Marcus's warehouse. Drip or drown? Drip or drown? Sounds dirty. I think I've seen this movie. Marcus is where I did. <laughs> First, <laughs> well, drip or drown too. <laughs> First thing, the most important for drip is always going to be your shirt. Oh. Your shirt? You can either go with something real simple, like just a plain black T-shirt. Black. Get rid of the flannel, Nick. Or plain like. No, no. You know. No. We but need, we need something Balenciaga. <laughs> I'm not trying to spend a gazillion dollars on this. Yeah. Take it's it to Saks. No, it takes it's it to Saks and like pick something. You know, like so. I'm sure they have a lot, a lot of good options. Okay, so Saks so for that. So I, I say no jeans. No. He wears jeans like. Wears Go with a pair. He wears them to bed. Yo, hey, <laughs> Go with a pair of little lemon right pants. But it, we just have to see how they're gonna look on him because it might they might just be awkward. Right. You guys okay. have entirely too much time on your hands. Just saying. What'd you sell today? Uh, so a sea dweller. Try to sell 5980. Alright, Adam, I'm to the Or 5980. I took okay, three watches on trading. Oh, okay, little one. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna drip Nick's Adam. Roman's dad jokes <laughs> always get me. The shoes just keep us a surprise. Yeah, I got, I got a surprise for Nick. There you go. I think we're good. Alright. I think that's good. Just gotta schedule it out. I really don't know what I've gotten myself into. Like, the better Nick looks, the better he feels, the more he sells. So after Avi and I talked, we set up a meeting with Roman to really, you know, highlight what my position was before I transitioned into sales and what it would turn into. Is it really bad? Yo, you I look, haven't seen it yet. You literally look like you fell off a motorcycle. I got look at his cupping. Head. I don't even want to see that shit. No, 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 thank you. I'm good. The cupping is, is it's kind of like a suction cup that pulls collagulated blood around. Really, Avi? Cupping? Supposedly, I I don't know if I believe in it. Uh, uh, speak, speaking of merch, hi Roman, hope you enjoyed this t-shirt, big fan of your videos, I've been watching since the pre-beard days, that's a long time ago. Love what you're taking, great market, I've been in the fashion industry for 18 years, hit me if you ever want to get a merch package developed, all the best, Vince. Vince from where? Oh, it's that guy! What guy? I was talking to him for a bit. It's got the functions of the watch on here, Dude, which is pretty it, cool. It was insane. That design is well, awesome. I'll let Avi make that decision. Cool. Philadelphia-based businesses with our this, guy, this guy's in Philly. Is he? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Honestly, I have no idea what this guy was, but as long as you sound convincing. Cool shirt. Thank you, Vince. Real quick, because I got to still do some things before I leave for the show. Avi, I'm sure um, Nick relayed the message. Basically, my concern is the following. Uh, we've taken, we've taken uh, Alex out of the picture when it comes to marketing. You lost a hand. Uh, we replaced him with Akib, but Akib technically is not doing everything that Alex did, especially when he was working for you in marketing. Now we're taking Nick, we're, trans we're, we're merging, him, merging him into sales because we don't have any other choice because of the volume of stuff that's coming in. Marketing will again suffer. <coughs> I wanted my social media game better. I wanted, I wanted in we line with Ivy and Co. We got it's, it. Now we don't. We do it to a certain extent without investing the amount of time and energy to develop that. We don't have to develop it. I had, a, I had a conversation with Nick and I had a wonderful idea. Our photography, we have two full-time photographers that can be busy all day long uh, or if there's not a big volume of jewelry specifically coming in, they're not. When you hired both Alex and Nick, uh, we, you know, you were looking for guys with experience that wanted a ton of money, this, that, and then ultimately you decided to take two younger, less experienced guys oh. to help you in what you do. So Alex I hired because he was just young and hungry, and 
I mean, it was a good hire. He wanted to get in. He didn't care about the money. He wanted to, to play the game. And Nick wasn't as cheap. Nick was not <laughs> as cheap. Um, but Nick had more experience. experience. Um, Nick also did not turn out to be great at what we needed. All right, so then my question so to not, you. Uh, my only concern is you coming to me in three weeks and saying, uh, Roman, I need to hire another person. Oh, don't be concerned. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, don't worry about it. We have people here that can do more than they're actually doing. Do you know what I mean? Like, nobody's maxed out. Like, oh my God, I can't do anything except for Adrian. Adrian he's cannot yeah, take any more buys requests. I was actually considering of like helping him and like making offers on stuff like on his behalf just because it makes me look bad that we're getting 30 requests a day and we can only answer five. This is where we, we need more assistance and that's not a job that we could hire for. Adrian is the head buyer, so maybe it's time for Adrian to take somebody under his wing when it comes to that. Or, I mean, look, how many times uh, can Adrian perhaps tell Nick, hey, this is what we're paying for, 116, whatever. That's the thing, look, at the end of the day, it's always gonna be Adrian saying, 13.5, uh, 14.6, all he needs to do, somebody needs to be in front of him saying, I'm sure we're paying for this right now. And he learns. Do we, do we wanna run this by Adrian? Of course. <laughs> Where's my four and a half million dollar wire? So basically they're saying that the Fed number, whatever they provided, can't be traced or is incorrect or confusing because, so the first- Whatever, I, I say we just leave this guy alone and wait this money. It's either gonna hit or not hit, it doesn't matter. Can you do me a favor? We came up with a pretty kick-ass idea to help in your buying process, but we wanted to run it by you because you may or may not like it. Do you have a minute? Sure. All right. We kind of came up with an idea to run by you real quick, so we don't waste too much of your time. Sure. Imagine you had a secretary, all right, or an assistant. They came to you every morning, they went through all the buy requests and pulled out the easy stuff. Let's say 100 buy requests you get. Gets you all the information and you literally spit the numbers off the top of your head and that person answers those. Something I have to think about. Because a lot of times what happens is these requests come in if there's something that I'm really keen on, I'll just call the person right away. Okay. You know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta be quick on it. So it's, they're, they're, there's too many moving parts. The problem is I can't hire another person to do this. The only thing I can do is I can train an in-house person to help you. And, and after you tell Nick 50 times what you pay for a particular watch, he will remember. And all you have to do is confirm with and it. And it's gonna change a week later. It's hard. Hard to do. I know it's hard to do, but think, think I, no, 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 I understand, but think of a personal assistant that re literally reads this stuff off of you. You can simply say, on that one, I need to sit picture, I'll take care of it. The rest, he'll offer and close. Do you see what I'm getting at? I see, I see. So it looks like I'm getting a new assistant. I wish whoever that person is a lot of luck helping me funnel through thousands of messages, literally. So the recap show event you want to do. Mm -hmm. Talking to John, you know, he's telling us that like this isn't, you know, a, a vlog shot, shoot. This is a whole to do. This is something that needs to be planned. If you're, if you're trying for September third, you talk to everybody else. Yeah. If you're trying for September third, John is saying it's not that much time to plan something like this. Did I ask John? Hmm. Did I ask John? Well, who's gonna produce, plan? This is not a this is not a live on YouTube a, thing. A luxury bizarre operation. Okay. Production. A luxury bizarre production. But if the, idea, if the idea is for this to be like a reality TV show, season recap, let's say, if you will, right? Mm -hmm. There has to be an agenda, right? Some sort some of a storyline. Of, of course. There is a not just us, you know. It's not just going to be sitting around. No, it's not going to be shooting the shit. It's going to be organized. We're going to have an entire schedule of what we're talking about, how we're talking about. It's going to really maybe be an hour or two hours long. And then you have the party. And you're going to put all this together. Sure. Okay. I talked to John about venue, I talked to John about equipment, you know, and we discussed all those details. We're good to go on that. We want to highlight the greatest moments, the worst moments. We want to highlight the funniest sh That's what we want to do. We want to make it a fun episode. We all know what the worst moment is going to be. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, we do. It's going to be a f***ing party and we're all going to get pissed drunk. That's what's going to happen. That, the, I, how, I many bottles, how many bottles of tequila? I need confirmation for the third and I need a list of people that you specifically want to invite. That's it. Okay. Adrian. Yo. Where's uh, our four and a half million dollar wire? We got a Fed reference number so we could trace it. Just to kind of recap this whole entire situation, sometimes we get calls in from the public for a really big watch and this was a perfect example of that. So a client called in looking for a specific Richard Meal 
I had cross-sold him on a similar model, actually a more exclusive model, and after weeks of negotiations, he basically confirmed the watch, confirmed the price, and we were going through logistics. He was sending money from a brokerage account, and from my understanding, if you're sending money from a brokerage account and you sell off your stocks, you have to wait for those positions to settle, and then the money gets released. It's not just a click of a button from your savings account on your, let's say, regular bank account. It, it, it takes a little bit more time. Your thoughts on this deal actually going through? Listen, the guy, you know, we've been through a lot of these oddball ones. Just it seems like this, this doesn't. Get. This guy doesn't strike me as a Sammy G, though. If you guys recall the Sammy G incident from a few episodes ago, where a guy calls in, he talks a big game about the collection he has and then a certain watch he wants to purchase. He confirms a meeting with us in New York. We get we get there. We wait for him. He doesn't pick up his phone. And he just basically left us in a blind. I mean, there's there's literally no reason to do that. Like, what do you get out of a situation like that? No, he just he's been in communication, like, on, following on, up. On, my on wife. one hand, it seems just some stuff that he was saying the way, uh, you know. But wasn't he the one that called you and asked if the wire hit or not? No, I mean, I, I was the one that's always been letting him know. And he he, he explained to me the following: because it's not coming from my bank account, it's coming from my brokerage account. My brokerage accounts need to sell off some stocks, then they're going to send you a wire. I'm like, okay. Um, then he sent me a, what, what, what really killed me was he sent me a screenshot of his conversation between him and his banker and on the screenshot the banker from Morgan Stanley was saying hi Anthony and then some text after I'm like well wait a second sorry Joe I've been calling you Joe <laughs> Anthony I was like well, who's Anthony he's like oh and he started to fumble his words he's like oh, Anthony's my middle name but sometimes I go by Anthony, sometimes I go by Joseph. I'm like, okay. And then not to mention, somebody's sending a wire of, of that magnitude and you can't find any information about them anywhere. Well, what a name like he has is a pretty generic name. Okay, generic name, generic name. You know, how many Michael Collins do we have that are big lines? <laughs> you know, yeah. It doesn't really mean anything. All right, look, I, you know, you know, years that we've been doing this, when these big deals like that, we have a count them anyway. Mentally. My, th my thing is, if the wire comes, great. If not, my, my concern is, is dragging our good friend overseas along through yeah, this whole process. Right, he yeah. gets excited, we got Malta involved, we got this, and this whole to-do. We're basically almost We're booked gone. open 80 tickets to Miami. Exactly, so it's like... It's, it, unfortunately, unfortunately, it becomes... You know why? A, it's the same question you asked with the whole story with Sam and G, like why waste people's time? We've had cases where you had a bunch of fraudulent people, right? Yeah. Like trying to actually pull a fraud, hey, fly here, do this, do that, and the other. There's a purpose behind it. The purpose was for them to try to fuck us over. Where this, I, it deals like this, there is no purpose except for, I don't I, I, I never could explain that. Uh, that necklace that he bought as well, you know, that you know, we, we're, kind of, we're kind of holding. Too. It's okay, that's that's fine. But that's, that's isn't that coming to the show with us anyway? It's coming to the show with us anyway. Here's my thing. I was trying to I was trying to portray to the guy that look, if you're sending us a wire this magnitude, it's my it's my job to communicate follow. with you. It's my job to follow up because it's not a small amount or any amount. It's not a small. Amount. It doesn't matter. Any time, you know, any time client, know, hey, if, it's, if it's four and a half million or if it's fifty thousand dollars, we still communicate with clients saying, exactly. hey, listen, uh, just let you know, wire didn't come through yet or wire came in. That's what's what you do. Should I tell him wire came in. Huh? Should I tell him the wire came in? I just saw a wire come in for seventeen hundred and fifty dollars. I, I literally sit there like I scroll through the email slowly and until I get to the amount. He said he he was in a meeting with a bunch of people. He said I'll call you back an hour. That was at eleven. You know, on one side, on one on one side. I think I think at this point, you know me. I like to at some point just cut it off. Like I I feel like. At this point, the ball is in his court. We'll let it be. I don't think he should communicate back unless he obviously calls you and just wait because... I just want to hear something from him. We have a friend in Holland. What does he say? Roman. You press the button on one end and 30 seconds later, it shows up on the other end. Can you please just call him in regards to that? Oh, he's going to be calling me because he's going to be receiving the watch today. Oh, he's going to be yeah. calling you about that? Yeah, so just, I'll, just ask kinda, just, just I'll ask him. I'll ask him just, just kind of tell him the same thing. I say you stop spending more time on this? I'm spending no time on it. Like, you are, you know, calling this and tracing and I, this, that, and That's why I had three text messages on today. I didn't spend any other time on it. In other news, Tracks NYC just bitched out Scott Disick. Back the f*** down! <laughs>
know your place, you dog. I hope you see Scott Disick on the street in person. We, we've had certain people reach out to us, and their demands are just ridiculous. You know? Yes. There's no post that he can possibly post on his Instagram, Scott Disick, that is, or anybody of that sort, that would change our business or help no, us out. No, it's, anyway. it's uh, Trax's is, Trax is business model. Trax has had lots of famous people come through. He's had lots of people shouting him out on their Instagram accounts and things of that nature, and it does work. I feel like majority of our clients, they don't want to be out there and, you know, shouting. They want to keep these things private, especially those that buy really expensive things. But, listen, that, those business models do work. You know what I mean? So. so we'll be headed to Miami regardless to do the show, and if the deal goes through, the deal goes through. So we sit and we wait. Okay, so I had a guy... Uh, give us two um, two pieces on consignment. There's a root beer and a sub. Mm -hmm. And the sub sold, then it took a little bit longer for the root beer to sell. And um, I didn't even know, but Tanya sent a wire for $13,000. Right, that, that was our extra wire. Yeah. And he's MIA? No, I, so I, I, I sent him a wire confirmation of that 13000 the exact date, which is June 30th. And he showed me a screenshot of his account. He goes, I don't see it in there. I don't know if our bank can do something or if the wire never, never went out. I don't know. That's, that's when you trace that wire, you get out the document and our bank will show that the wire landed and you send that to him because there's no way in hell you didn't get it. Okay, so that's what we need to do. Okay. So I, I said on June 30th, I said, it's no interruption at all. Sorry for the delay in letting you know we will execute a wire shortly. That was June 30th, the day that that wire was actually sent. He responded back to me on July 3rd saying, I'm still not seeing the wire in my account anywhere on it. Will it just be for the Submariner or if the GMT sold it will be for the full amount? So he never got that wire before because the full amount we sent on July 13th. Oh no, on July 9th. So he, he, he had notified me beforehand before we sent that 53,000 that he didn't get the first 13. So I, I don't know what's going on there. So a lot of times when clients send us stuff on consignment, I make sure that once, if it's more than one piece, once all the pieces, or if it's two, three, whatever the case may be, once it's all sold and settled, then we send a full transfer for all the pieces. Otherwise, situations like this arise. Here we had a client send us two pieces and in the books, it was showing that we had sold, we had sent him a bank wire transfer for the first watch. However, the thirteen thousand dollars that our accountant said that she sent was actually not sent. So that was a confusion there. Everything is good. The client got exactly what he he was supposed to receive, and we didn't send any extra money. Before we close this episode out, I have some really bad news. Half of you guys that are watching these videos are not subscribed. That's it. <laughs> that's, the bad, that's the bad news. Please subscribe, uh, like, share, comment, hit the bell. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode of Gray Market, guys. Everyone stay tuned for next week. We have some big things coming. If you haven't already, like, share, subscribe. Join the Gray Market Facebook group, guys. If you have not done that, we have some cool stuff going on there. But for now, thank you for watching the episode. See you next week on Gray Market.